We will now move on to the second round of the Footman Auditions. <laughs> There's but one challenge in the second round. Please create an appealing table presentation for afternoon tea. From the table Oh crap, the I don't know how to do that. Doesn't the little fort go on the right? This will of course require a basic knowledge of table settings, but for anything you are unsure of, uh -huh. you use your own individual <sighs> tastes. The placement of a single item can impact your display's overall appeal. Your attention to detail will be key. No matter what they throw at me, I will save Maid Lots. Now then, let the second round begin. Which one should we choose? Uh, I got no idea. Okay, let's go, Usui. Hold on a second. <laughs> Aren't you trying to kill me or something? Who is going to be having the afternoon tea? Huh? Who will this tea presentation be for? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's an elegant afternoon tea at an English-style butler cafe, so upper-class ladies and married women. <laughs> Usui, look! I've got one of every cake. Will this be enough or should I get more? Wow, that's a lot. This looks more like a buffet than afternoon tea. I guess. It's not very elegant, huh? Why not use something like this? Oh, that'll do! There are three minutes remaining. Huh? Oh, we have to hurry up with the setting! Mind if I do it? Uh, sure, but somehow you seem awfully confident. Scones should be placed at the bottom of the cake stand. Go look for some jam and clotted cream. Clotted? Finger sandwiches should go on the middle tier. Finger? And at the top, how about we place some of those small desserts you brought over? What do you think? Let's see, uh, how about those tarts right there? For the tea, we should definitely go with Earl Grey. Why that one out of all the others? Well, because it's standard for the afternoon tea. Only 30 seconds remain. Now for the finishing touch. Some small flowers to create a reserved but elegant presentation. Now we're done. It's quite faithful to an English-style afternoon tea, isn't it? The cutlery has also been well-polished. Female customers would likely appreciate the attention to detail. <laughs> what a splendid take. Incredible. Everything about it is perfect. Just who do you think I am? A mysterious perverted alien from planet Pheromone. Hmm. Yep, you got it. No, but really, how do you... We shall now take a short break. Everyone, please take this opportunity to enjoy your respective afternoon teas. Did you hear that, Kaido? We get to eat cake! Gardatsu, why do you have to get so hung up on the presentation? The presentation's the most important part! It's people food! Say, so, Usui, why did you come to this audition? Because being asked by a hot internet celebrity made my heart go a flutter. Looks like I'm gonna have to force it out of you. Because wearing a mask and a suit sounded like fun. Sadly, that probably is the truth. We're the ones who want the side, you bastard! You can't take that away from us! Excuse me while I dispose of this garbage. 
Even making use of a loose cannon like that, he gets the job done perfectly. That's too sweet for you, all right. Ah, there he is! I thought that was you! I didn't expect to see you here, what a surprise! Who are you? Uh, Mr. Usui? That's you, right? My name is not Usui. I am study abroad from exotic land of the ice, the ice land. <laughs> but there's you no way that's Mr. Mr. Usui. He acts nothing business. like him. He looks so much alike, it's crazy. Is that right? It's incredible, right, Kano? I was super surprised. I think it's about time for us to head back. We still have some cake left over. There. I swear, those idiots never <laughs> learn. <laughs> We're gone a long time. Yeah, I was going to the restroom when I saw him, so I went into the men's room. Why are you in such a bad mood? Is it because I called you flat as a board in front of everyone? Would you have preferred if I'd said something like, Wow, look at these rippling pants? Who said anything about that? Or did going into the men's restroom make you so nervous you couldn't? <laughs> You get it, Mr. Misaki. Oh, shut it seems up. like I they're still disagreeing no about something, but at least away. they're not fighting, right, Kano? Like that, you Indeed. Attention, Attention contestants. contestants. We, we shall now begin, begin the third round of the Footman yeah. audition. Oh, sweet. I, I'll try my best not to do anything too reckless. But I'm still going to... I'm going to... I'm going to give this my all to the very end. <laughs> Aoi! Subaru! Over here! Are you all right? We're fine. Owie, what were you thinking going off and doing something so reckless like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, enough of the lecturing already. I swear, oh! I couldn't just sit by and watch as your shop got bought out by some weirdos who showed up out of nowhere, could I? To top it off, they wanted to turn it into a butler cafe. That's so sweet, Owie. That would just interfere with my plans to remodel the shop and make it cuter. Owie, are you plotting to take over Maid Latte? Anyway, she's the one who's being reckless. What's that weird girl thinking? Good. Looks like Owie and Subaru found the others without a problem. I know what I'm doing is irresponsible. But even so, I can't turn back now. This whole thing, it's, it's my fault. Whoa, it really stayed in there. We're not here to play around! <laughs> oh, sweet! What is this thing? 49? At this time, all contestants should have received a slip of paper with a number on it. One member from each pair should have drawn one card, which will be your order for the next judging. The final round will simulate customer interaction. For this challenge, the judges shall act as your customers. Though you may be nervous, we will be looking for grace and refinement above all else. How well will you be able to think on your feet and play the part of a full-fledged footman? This will be the most important test of all. With that said, good luck and do your best. We lost one pair when both our partners got cut, so I guess this means we're last. Mr. Nagashi! Ah! Wanna hear you, hear you come you around? If he sees my face so close like this, he'll recognize me! Usui? Are you okay? Is he awake? Hang in there, you two. Hey! Usui, 
Usui! 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 Are you hurt? No, I... I'm fine. If you're fine, then I'm fine, Misaki. You there! Just stay put. We'll have someone look at you. I'm all right, really. There's no way. Not after you protected me from a fall like that. There... There's no way you are injured! <laughs> Misaki, everyone from the shop is looking on in concern. If you're all right, then how about you give them a wave? But you... Your arm... Do you think you're well enough to continue? If there is any concern, I can call a doctor. That won't be necessary. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome back, M -m 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 Mr. M -m -m Masher! Next, Next up, pair number 49. Looks like it's finally our turn. The way he reacted, his left arm must really be hurting. And then, there's his right wrist, too. Is it okay? Should I really let him go through with this? But if I back down now... <laughs> the judging shall now begin. For this round, I, Maki, shall act as both customer and judge. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. It's our pleasure. It started. Figures they'd get that squinty-eyed judge. This is going to be the last challenge, isn't it? I just don't want anything else to happen to them. Please let those two come out of this safely. Welcome back, Master. Please allow me to take your bag for you. And your coat as well. Allow me to take that as well. Allow me to show you to your seat. Good. I'll let Usui handle the explanations, and I'll handle the hard stuff myself. Usui's arms are injured because of me. I can't burden him any more than I already have. Yes, Master. How may we assist you? I think I'm ready to enjoy my dinner. Yes, sir. Right away. Also, you there. If you would be so kind, please bring me ten or so of those books over yonder. Understood. Here you are, Master! Forgive my intrusion, but I couldn't help but notice. Are you attempting to cover for your partner? Would there perhaps be a reason for that? As in, you're trying to avoid letting him carry something heavy? <laughs> my apologies. I suppose I am merely being a meddlesome customer. But if I am indeed correct, then perhaps it would be best if he was excused for the day. Oh, no. Master, you honor me with your kindness. Thank you for your concern. But if we as butlers cannot fulfill our master's orders, then we serve no purpose, do we? Please feel free to ask anything of me. All I've done is make things even harder on him. So then you're certain there isn't some other reason? Would you happen to be injured? Not at all. My associate is merely being diligent, so that I might perform a more important task for you. Hmm? With your permission, Master, I shall now proceed. Hmm. So this is the task that you spoke of. He can play the violin? That's news to me! But with his hand like that, he can't possibly play! Awesome! I wish I could do that. I see. Playing the violin is a splendid task, indeed. I'm sure it will make my meal that much more enjoyable. Please allow me to enjoy this a little longer. His face is looking more and more pain. Misa and Usui's round seems like it's going on forever. <laughs> the whole reason I came here was because I wanted to protect the shop and the people in it. I wanted to protect it, no matter what the cost. But... That's enough. Just stop it!
Oh, is something the matter? My humblest apologies. The truth is, both of his arms are seriously injured. I believe he must receive medical attention at once. You there. Is this indeed the truth? You can see it, can't you? He's obviously in pain. And yet he said nothing of it, did he? <laughs> Meaning that, regardless of his injuries, he is determined to fulfill his duties no matter what, yes? He may be in pain, but for you to take his work away in front of his master is nothing short of disgraceful. It would seem to me that your relationship is lacking in trust. At your shop, looking out for one another may mean sitting back and watching as your comrades push themselves until they collapse. But at our shop, we look out for one another so that we don't collapse. It's because they support me that I want to support them too. The reason I've made it this far is because even though I caused them trouble, they've supported me every step of the way. Because this is that kind of shop, we can give our all to the customers in order to put them at ease and make them happy. That's the kind of thoughtful place it is. And I love it from the bottom of my heart. Now, if you'll please excuse us. Misa! Oh, someone, please call a taxi right away. We have to get him to a hospital quickly. Okay, hold on. They're all swollen. I'll wet down a handkerchief. Manager! I'm sorry. Misa, if made latte changed or moved to some faraway place, what would you do? Manager, if I thought you needed me, I would go anywhere. I mean it. Thank you, Misa. You have no idea how happy that makes me. What gives? Why are you standing there in the dark like that? And quit making that face. We're in public, you know. I built up an idea in my head of how butlers and footmen should behave and accepted no compromise from my employees in regards to my vision. I believed if we faithfully recreated the English class-based society, the customers would surely be pleased, but you lost your way because of what that girl said. <laughs> you sure are a handful, you know that. Well, there's another location. It's prime real estate. Huh? You don't mean the Igarashi conglomerates. It's my land to do whatever I want with. There'll be no problem. Besides, letting their shop go on the way it is will probably be much more interesting, don't you think? Thank you very much, sir. I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh. Hey, those three idiots are being even creepier than usual. Oh, she's making the same face! It's to be expected, Aoi. After all, Made Latte just overcame its greatest challenge yet. Yeah, but still... Could you explain a bit? What those guys suddenly dropped their buyout deal for, anyway? Didn't the manager tell you? Mr. Maki decided it would be better to build his shop in another location. Lucky us. If he was just gonna build it somewhere else, then why'd he even come after us in the first place? Uh, say, where's she at? She? Misa, of course! <laughs> You're finally talking normally! Right now, I'm sure Misa is with him. It's my house. Yeah, I'm not sure if I really believe you. What's this, a visit? Something like that. Only your parents. Not here. I live alone. Thanks for letting me in. You didn't just move in, did you? I've lived here since I started school. You shouldn't have come here alone. Now I can do anything I want to, huh? <clears throat> You have a fever! It's true, you left the hospital way too soon! Huh? Look, just go lay down! I'm getting a towel and some water! I'm fine, really. I said go lay down! Ayuzawa, really, I'm... Don't make me say it again, stupid Usui! Please, just let me take care of you for once. Shouldn't we try to get a hold of your parents? Don't worry about it. Why'd you leave the hospital so soon? Being sick is boring. Are you at least eating properly? Ugh. This rice has been boiled so much that it's turned into rice soup. President, your cooking is... I know it's bad! Got a problem? Fine, don't eat it! I'll eat it I'll all eat myself! It. But it's hard to hold things in my right hand, so you'll have to feed me. Also, I'm sensitive to hot food, so you'll have to blow on it. Is 
Isn't this touching? I didn't know it was possible to kill the flavor with your cooking style. Shut up! Just eat it! Despite your complaining, you ate the whole thing. How could I leave any behind? You cooked that meal just for me. <sighs> your clothes are all sweaty. You should change. It'll be hard to undo the buttons with that hand, so let me... Uh, what are you looking at? You look like a scowling delinquent. Shut up! Just look out the window or something! Yeah, yeah. I owe this guy again. It makes you think he's just some trash-talking, sexually harassing, no-good weirdo. But when it counts, he always comes to help me. But I haven't done anything for him at all. I'm sorry. I feel like I rely on you for everything. I came here to try and pay you back for everything you've done, but I've just screwed things up. In the end, I can't do anything for you at all. I'm completely useless. You're a cruel girl, Ayazawa. You do realize that I rely on you, too. Liar! It's true. You're just right for me, Ayazawa. Just right? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Quit being stupid, Usui. What is this? Damn it, you pissed me off. That's why I said you're cruel, President. Why that? I can't be responsible for what happened. What are you talking about? Who passed the audition? Who knows? I thought we were supposed to be a team! Who knows? Chita Mata! Is it Mr. Not Usui? What is it, Yukimura? Oh, it is Mr. Usui. Actually, I have a favor to ask. Yukimura, are you sure you want to ask this pervert for a favor? But I want to do something big brotherly for my little sister. Ha ha ha! I'm Mr. Not Usui. Huh? That was sudden? Where'd Mr. Usui go? Huh? Just help him out, Usui. Next time, Aoi, the internet celebrity, will film a music video! Yay! Aoi! So, Yukimura and Aoi are going to get their own stories, huh?